Pearl friends, Emma here. And Danny. And today we have an exciting episode for you. We're going to teach you the ins and outs of thrift shopping. Because I am the self-proclaimed thrift queen. When I walk into a thrift store, I look for um, not only things that are pleasing for the eye, but things that are unique. One of these things here, I automatically was drawn to its unique pattern and it just looks vintage. You know what everybody should do this <laughs> is put a recipe, right? re recipe? Recipe. Put a recipe right onto your dishware. <laughs> All right. Great time. So what I did was I did a simple little Google search, typed in cheesecake and I typed in an old time favorite and pie plate. And oh my goodness, was this ever a great little find. Um, this actually came from a collection where there were five different plates, including um, an apple pie one, a chicken pot pie, and uh, this actually resales on eBay for $80. Wow, unbelievable. So Google is your best friend at a thrift store because basically you can type anything in the search engine and find out what its comparable sale price is on eBay. Does it bother anybody else that this isn't centered on the plate? <laughs> what, they couldn't just take the time to center that? Yeah, but I feel like that's what makes everything <laughs> so unique. A lot of people find beautiful silverware. There is a major difference between stainless steel, silver plated, and sterling silver. Sterling silver is always the most valuable because it has less alloys. Cool. So less metals involved to make it. It is more of one substance, the substances that make up silver. Couple easy ways to tell. A sterling silver is always gonna be lighter than your other metals. So feel the difference here. Right. Light, heavy, mm. right? It's also always gonna be a slightly darker color than yeah, your- Yeah, it is a bit darker. If I picked this up in the thrift store, I would think that that's just like the, cheap like version? the cheapo version. Cause I'm yeah. like, I feel like I could break this. Yep. But no, it's, so it's more expensive. The most expensive. <laughs> and you can always tell genuine sterling silver because there will always be a stamp on it. This one here says sterling. Do they all have these? Yes. Ones? Now see this yeah. one here is heirloom plate. So that means that it's plated. Another thing that is a key find at a thrift store is crystal. People cool. get rid of crystal by the dozens. Why? Like why? Is it because it's like gaudy or tacky? It looks dated in many, uh, you know, instances, but crystal is of immense value and there are a couple really easy ways to tell if something's crystal or glass. Number one, crystal is always heavier. So you're gonna mm. hold a piece of crystal in your hand, you're gonna feel that it's quite heavy. Yeah. Number two, if you hold crystal up to the side, sunlight, it actually creates a prism effect. So a rainbow oh. that shoots down and you'll be able to see um, the light reflected through in a prism shape. So cool, I like that. Mm -hmm. And then the final way is the sing test. I call it the, the sing test? test? The musical sing test. So I you lick that. your rim of your finger yes. and you rub around. Actually, you can hear it right there. It's a magical. If it makes music, then it's crystal. And if it doesn't, it's glass. And you only want to do that once in a thrift store. <laughs> only once. And make sure that your finger is clean when you do it. Here's a tip. Bring some hand wipes with you Ooh. so that you can lick things. I like it. So we're licking things, we're singing things. We're and, touching things. And we're holding up and looking for prisms. I love Got it. it. Books are an amazing thing to find at thrift stores. Yeah. The book is Don Quixote. Like this is stunning. It is a stunning piece. So it's how does beautiful. one know what is a value? Yeah. And the key is usually on the first page. Okay. This here is a volume one, which is actually a very valuable book. It's dated 1904. So this piece here is a second edition, but the original edition was actually the original language. So this book is actually quite high in value because of the edition that it was. The last thing obviously that you find in a thrift store is clothing. One of the key things to focus on is buy good fabrics. So when I run my hands down a rack, I feel for wool, yeah. I feel for cashmere. Right. If it is a good quality fabric, it's going to last. Aha, cashmere. On your tag, you're gonna see cashmere. So 100%, which is great. If it's not up here, it's usually on one of the corners down here. Here we go, 100% cashmere. And I love this jewel tone. We've learned a lot of information and takeaways from our thrifting queen, but I think the three biggest takeaways that I'm hearing is do your research, you know, have some data on hand, look for the labels, and make sure you know your materials. 
Those are the keys, and those are universally yes. applicable across the board. You yes. can go to any thrift store, furniture, dishware, books, clothing, everything, and apply it all to that. Subscribe because we've got more awesome content coming your way. Bye, guys. Bye.